It is caliente in this house. Let's crank. What? What? Uh, are you guys still there? Hello. Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh yes, you can. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's really hot, and my AC upstairs is one degree. My AC downstairs is another degree, and the house is feeling unbalanced. And no one likes an unbalanced house. I don't like my house being unbalanced. So Shaheen and I are working on getting the whole house, AC, air situation balanced. So downstairs has to be the same degrees AC like upstairs because if it's unbalanced, the whole house doesn't get the same temperature and it's so hot but it's done guys enough talk about the ac i know that's not what you're here for this is not an ac related video this is a video me telling you 10 things that i believe in for you that's right for you you know i was thinking like oh my god i want to do a video but i don't want to do just like the same things and um i thought you know what I want to bring something different and encouraging and maybe this is something that no one has told you before um, or someone did tell you a long time ago but it's been a very long time and maybe you need this as a reminder and no stop right there before you exit this is not a cheesy video and this is not just for those soft-hearted people it is for everybody it is for you watching so stay tuned thank you for watching <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Living the Fine Life. My name is Nyara Miller. If you're new to our channel, I want to say welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. It's been a dream of me, of mine, of me. It's been a dream of mine to do YouTube. And no disclaimer, guys. I'm not getting paid by YouTube as of yet. I'm still not monetized. And maybe one day I will be monetized. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, guys. It's free. It means a lot to us. Help us reach our next goal our upcoming goal we're trying to get to 1k that's just the realness of this but it's not just why i do this i do this because i genuinely like to and i know that this is another way where i could communicate with you although um i can't be where you are but through this video i can reach you so 10 things that i believe in and these are not in any specific order so don't come at me like hey nori um so is this more important than this or is that more important than that no is not in any specific order let's just go with the flow here okay so guys the first thing i believe in is that you can be kind to others even if they are not kind to you um there is power in giving the other cheek and although that may sound annoying to some like uh-uh if this person strike at me i'm gonna hit them right back you know <laughs> no it's that's not what i'm saying to do um i'm just saying like you know in kindness sometimes in life uh, we could be the bigger person and i want to tell you that i believe that you have all it takes to be the bigger person so if today you're going through a circumstance think about how you can be the bigger person and how you can be more mature and deal with this in a in a more mature manner is what i'm saying so you have the power to do that um no one can change that in you so know that it is possible and i believe you can because we're made like that guys the other thing number two i believe that you have purpose in that same line i do believe that you were created in purpose for a purpose and you're not just here by coincidence you're not just here by mere just oh you know your mom and dad you know maybe you know just whatever and now you're here and yeah i know that's how we are we all come about but to someone else that created you i believe that jesus christ created us and you know what um you're not just here to be here on earth to fill in a gap to fill in a space to fill in air to just be here live do your life and then go no uh you're here for a purpose you are meant to be so just remember that if you're feeling low or down or you're questioning your life right now you're gonna find your desk your purpose in, in your destiny as you're going through life but know that it is on to you to make wise decisions and pray and submit things into prayer and see where the lord's gonna take you number three is 
I believe that you're loved. I know you're loved. You know why? Because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And if you're not believing, you're hearing this, you're like, yes. Just hear me out, guys. Don't click don't click go so quick. Um, I believe that Jesus loves you and he loves you. And I'm going to put a verse right here. In um, John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only beloved son, um, you know, for those who believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. I'm going to put the Bible verse right here. And I'm not just saying it to say it, guys. It's because Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. Um, and he because he loves you so much basically and on that same line it goes into because you have a purpose because there's a reason why you're here because he knew that nothing can compensate the sins of this world so he jesus you know uh, did the most major sacrifice ever and and gave up his body and, and blood and, and just shed all his blood on the cross of calvary and he died for you and therefore um Jesus loves you. You're loved. There's someone out there that's loved you. And know that um, number four is that you are more than capable of being of being loved. So I can tell you, yes, Jesus loves you. But then is like, am I lovable? Some people don't believe they're lovable. Um, and just know you are lovable. And if you feel that maybe you're not lovable because of some things about you, know that with God, you don't have to be perfect for him to love you. He already loves you. Um, but if you want to feel more lovable to others around you, um, your family, friends, whoever, and there's some things about you that you feel that, um, impede that, that, that don't, you know, allow that change it, work on yourself. Okay. And with that number five is, I believe that there's always room for improvement for you. So just know that we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm only saying this from experience. And, you know, just don't ever think that you're good right here where you are. Because, and I've said this and preached this and shared this with different types of people, with different age groups. Like, look, if you believe that this is, that you're good right here because you got it all figured out, because you got what you want in life, because you're doing what you like, or you're just content right here, you're, you're, never, you're just going to stay here. And it could be that two three five years down the line when you look back you're gonna see that you're still in the same place because you were never willing to grow you have to grow you have to be opened and not be prideful or you know in a way of like oh i don't i'm good i don't need to grow i know everything i know it all i got it no we can always grow you know um there's people that still that worked in their jobs for 10 15 years and they still like to go to trainings and conferences to enhance their their knowledge and their job in their work field. It's the same with you and I. I know that even though I've been in my job for almost 10 years, yes, literally, I still practice and research because although you may have knowledge in something, know that the times change and things evolve over a period of time. So we need to keep up with the times and really in, enhance our knowledge and and learn new things and how we could be better at our job because things aren't always going to stay the same like we may want to stay the same things are going to change and develop and become better and better and better and why not you be part of that betterment if that's even a word but you know what i mean rather than saying no i'm i'm good right here be part of that change but you need to be willing to grow just saying <laughs> it's so hot i'm sorry guys i'm just you know this is what it is um this is still my vlog and you know what i'm not gonna put this perfect stage on for the video um yeah so this is what it is it's just guys seriously it's no joke like i don't know if i look sweaty i hope i'm not my makeup's still in place anyways let's continue number six i believe that anyone can accomplish their dreams and that includes you. Um, you know why? Because we're all more than capable. It's just we've allowed certain things that we were told maybe when we were a kid. We allowed things that we were told when we were a kid or even told as an adult. Or maybe we make excuses in our own minds. Or um, you may compare yourself with someone else and that can discourage you. But if you brush those things to the side 
and focus on your goals make a list think about what you need to do to get there um without putting anyone down i'm just saying guys it's real but you can accomplish your goals it is up to you you are the only one limiting yourself and if you don't do what you gotta do you ain't gonna do it but i believe that you're more than capable to make that list set your goals if you need to create a dream board do that dream board pray about it think about it strategize do something to make that dream come true the first step to accomplishing your dream is taking action work with here and then take action execute it and make it happen and don't be discouraged if it doesn't come out 100 percent the first year because maybe you're trying to start a business it takes time to develop and get better and grow over a period of time but it doesn't mean that you won't be a successful business person you see or business owner entrepreneur whatever you're trying to do you got to work on it but you got to do it and when you already got your engine started and what you're trying to do know that you're already in it and there's nothing or no one that can stop you number seven is that i believe in jesus christ and i believe that jesus can save you if you're looking for answers if you're looking for clarity in life um if you have maybe doubted or just thought like is there a higher power um who made the world um who made me like how did i just happen um how you know anything just i recommend that you give jesus christ god a chance in your life and you'll see that he is so real he is i just if only you knew like god is real and jesus loves you and he will save you but you have to allow him in your life you have to allow him in he's a gentleman and he doesn't force himself in your life in your heart um but he seeks you out and if you're watching this video today um i pray that the lord touches you because i believe it's not a coincidence that you're watching this video that you clicked here so i pray for your well-being and know that jesus can save you literally he is the savior of the world okay <laughs> enough number eight my ac needs to work like asap okay where were we number eight look i believe in a lot of things this list is not limited to everything else i believe in um i wanted to do a general like what 10 things i believe in but i wanted to specify it um and connect it back to you and what 10 things i believe in for you so that's why i'm speaking straight to you and um i'm directing it back to you in your life um the other thing I believe in, number eight, is that I believe you can make a difference in the world. Um, I believe that you can impact others. Um, I believe that there is still good um, in your life. And if you're feeling like down, like, man, like, I don't think I'm good enough, you are. Number nine is that I believe that you can still make the best out of this year. I know that 2020 has been a very rough and challenging and historical year, definitely a big historical year um, for this world, for our country, and for us as people and as a nation. As you know, we hit this pandemic, and I'm not going to talk so much about it because you've heard about it a thousand times and you're probably tired of it by now. But COVID wasn't the only thing to strike us in 2020. Um, there were different, you know, uh, natural disasters. Um, there were deaths of, of big celebrities that were, was well loved and it was a big shocker. There was, you know, a, a lot of things happening with politics. There were things happening, um, you know, with our like civil rights and um, our Black Lives Matter movement. Um, things that we were returning like if it was back in the day the truth is that these things were still going on nowadays it's just that it was just coming back to light and recorded now and really opening our eyes as a country and a nation that we need to do something about it and then there was also covid and then there was a, was also another presidential campaign that was <laughs> intense <laughs> so um 
2020 was pretty hefty and it is still 2020 i'm speaking as if it's in the future no 2020 is still happening but know that although it is still 2020 and i'm going to relate this to the future because someone may be watching this after 2020 as well just hear me out there's still a few months left to this year and know that you can still make the best out of the rest of this year don't give up many of you want to give up and i encourage you don't give up you can still you know have light at the end of the tunnel i believe that there's still a chance to make the best out of these months whether we're still wearing face masks or not whether places are still opened or not within your life within you internally your mind your body your soul your spirit you can still work on yourself work in your family um you know maybe write out the plan for your goals for your business for whatever dreams and, and goals that you have in life you can still make the best out of this time maybe some of you are still in quarantine how are you going to use your quarantine time wisely before we were maybe in such a rush and so busy with our schedules in our life and our worries and concerns and although we still have worries and concerns but we're maybe not as rushed or busy as before so how are you using your quarantine time um use this time wisely and know that you can still make the best out of 2020 it seems hard to believe but it's not the end yet guys there's still hope i believe in that and if you're watching this and it is not 2020 anymore no you made it you survived and if you're seeing this video and it is years down the line like you weren't even bored when you when it was 2020 just know that you didn't miss much <laughs> that's all i gotta say you made it guys you know past 2020 this is only temporary nothing in this life is permanent or forever really and number 10 numero 10 is that if you put anything into prayer and you trust it'll come to pass just know that um prayer changes things guys try it pray and have faith i know it's hard because sometimes we may pray and feel like um who am i talking to uh jesus hears you like god hears you when you pray so just pray these are times where we need a lot of prayer a lot of people getting sick a lot of people going through things um and that's all the times but now more than ever really pray for the government pray for the your president pray for your family members pray and trust and have faith like god is the one who would hear you a thousand times and not get bothered by you and that actually wants you to talk to him so if you feel like sometimes you can't talk to people know that god is always there for you guys as we always say, stay well, be blessed, and continue to live the fine life. Bye.